Hi, all. Thanks so much for watching Making Healthcare Work for You, Different Perspectives and Empowering Solutions. I'm Stephanie Fields, joined by my co-host, Dr. Apoorv Gupta, and today we are welcomed by Dr. Peter Pranavost, who is the Chief Quality and Clinical Transformation Officer at University Hospitals. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Stephanie. It's great to be with you both. So for our one question each, as I will now just officially call it, mine is, what role do patients have in this love transformation that is leading to better health care and quality care and results? Yes, Stephanie, brilliant and insightful question. And let me put that question under the lens of our love framework, because love is, we said, this energy that uplifts and connects us all. In other words, we're all connected. We're all on the care team. And people use that word that a patient's on their care team. But I asked them to say, if you really believe that, what would that look like? You would make rounds in patients' rooms. They would, their family would join us rounds. We would fundamentally work differently than we do now. We, they would co-create their solutions. They would be involved in every decision because we would need, need them. We would recognize we need them. And so they have an incredible role and I mean, it's first, it's their body. And so they have a right to, to do this, but they'll get better, great care, care and we can co-create it. And I think for the clinicians out there, it's really to examine, okay, if I buy this love idea that we're all connected, how would I behave differently towards patients if that's truly a belief in my heart? And I think it would say we would do everything with them rather than to them. So beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you, Peter. Uh, and, and, and for my additional question, uh, it's sort of along similar lines. Uh, in, during the interview itself, Peter, you mentioned so many different uh, initiatives, so many different metrics that have improved as a result of this work. Uh, one of the metrics I was wondering about you know, uh, that, that brings us to this initiative ourselves is the idea that, uh, that practicing with greater love or with greater compassion also helps the, the giver of that love and the compassion. And so with that, it's the hope that the physician and the nurse and, and many other clinicians would also see some reduction in the level of uh, angst and, and anxiety and burnout that they're experiencing uh, from the healthcare system. So have you started to see that as an outcome in all of the work you're doing? Yeah, we sure have. And, and let me just, you know, go back to what you said, because there's a lot of wisdom. You know, as I've been on this journey, we use different words to describe the culture that leads to zero harm or safety, that leads to great patient experience, and that leads to joy in work. But what we've learned is that what underlies all of those is the exact same culture. It's the culture of love, right? And we use different words to do it. And that energy is powerful for all involved who experience it. And so our turnover rates are significantly lower. We don't formally measure burnout in enough reliable way. And I, quite frankly, with COVID and the nursing savages, I haven't had a stable enough baseline to know how to interpret a survey. But what I could share is the energy and joy of the clinicians who voluntarily join these Tuesday meetings or work on these projects or share what they're doing. And, you know, it was when my health system won the American Hospital Association Quest for Quality Award last year, uh, you know, they had hundreds of clinicians who they talked to. And when they were presenting what they did, they were just beaming. And that sense of deep, a jubilant joy that was in all of them talking was just like so beautiful to watch, right? And in contrast with, as a clinician, as you know, just the often beat on feeling that so many clinicians have every day. And they routinely say, Peter, this just uplifts me. This is why I went into healthcare. And so it is a really, really potent pill to help address burnout and bring back joy. Amazing. Amazing. Joy is a corollary to love is what I'm taking away from that. Uh, that's awesome. So instead of focusing on all these other aspects that may or may not show up, we do know that when you welcome people with love, their joy will increase. So that's Thank tremendous. You. Thank you so much, Peter, for sharing all this. Thanks so much for being here. This was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. And thank you all for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.